catching cheaters and proud of it. Ow, I'm sorry. It's your home for War of the Roses on Mojo in the Morning. Christina, you think that your fiancé is cheating on you? Yes. Why is it that you think he's cheating? I think he, um, I think he has an STD. How, how do you think he has an STD? Yeah. I, I saw him with a little bit of a rash down there in the shower. Oh, no. Yeah. Do you, I mean, it could, I mean, it obviously could just be, uh, like just razor be, burn or something. Yeah, or jock itch or I don't know, something like that. Mm-hmm. I mean, w- why would you think it was a, an STD? Well, we haven't had, we haven't had sex in about a week and we don't normally go that long without having sex. Have you tried to initiate sex and he's turned you down? I have many times. So over the course of the last week, you've tried to have sex with him and, and he said no. Yes. What's his reasoning? Well, he tells me that he has a headache or he has a stomach ache. Um, but I mean, I see what's down there and it's Have you it's asked him about common. it? Yeah. Did you actually talk to him about it yet? I, I mentioned it to him and he just said it's because he feels, he feels sick. No, like about, mm. the, about the rash. Have you talked to him about the rash? I, I I've mentioned it to him. I, I noticed something down there, and he says it's just it's just a little rash that he has. He doesn't know where it's from. Did he seem awkward, or you know, like like deer in headlights when you brought it up? I, I think he, I, I he didn't seem too awkward about it, but he did hesitate a bit. So you think that maybe he's he's cheated with somebody, or could probably possibly be cheating with somebody that he contracted an STD from? Yes, that's what I think. I don't know if he, you know. He, I, this is gonna be really tough because we're gonna ask him to send a dozen free roses to somebody, and I think any girl that you get the itchies and scratches from is not somebody that you send flowers to. Mm-hmm. But mm-hmm. but we will try to call him and see where he sends a dozen free roses. Okay. Hang on the phone. His name is Steve. Okay. I know Shannon, you yeah. got all the info, and yeah. we're hoping that the flowers go to Christina. Good morning, Steve. How are you? Good. How are you? I'm good. Um, I'm sure you're a little bit confused. My name is Nicole. I'm calling from a company called rosesbloom.com. And sorry to call you so early. I'm actually calling with good news, though. Your number was randomly selected to be a part of a survey that we're doing for our new company. And if you have just a moment to answer two quick questions, we're going to give you a dozen long-stemmed red roses, Steve, that you can ship to anybody in the country Anywhere in the country, and it's not going to cost you anything. It's kind of early in the morning. I know. I'm sorry. You're one of the first people on my list, but it'll be, I, I promise I'll just ask two questions and we'll be done in like 30 seconds. Okay. Okay. Two quick questions, Steve. The first one, have you purchased flowers in the last six months? No. Okay. And do you plan on purchasing flowers in the next six months? No. Okay, Uh, that's it. Those are the two questions. And as a thank you for participating in that rosesbloom.com survey, we are now authorized to provide you with a dozen long stem red roses, like I said, shipped anywhere in the continental United States. And Steve, here's how this works. I'm going to get the number of who you want to send the flowers to from you in a second. Um, We're actually going to text her the coupon for the free roses. So first, I just need the person's name that you'd like to send them to. Um... Send them to Christina. Okay. And along with the text coupon for the flowers, you also get a little message with that. What would you like the message to Christina to say? Uh, I just want to say love. Love. And your name? Love Steve? Love Steve. Okay. Great. We're going to get the number uh, for Christina. We will send her the flowers. And I hate to jump on here, but we do this to try to get to more calls. Steve? Yeah? I think Christina's going to be really happy that she got these flowers, because not only are they beautiful, but because she's on the phone with us right now, listening into this conversation, because this is the Mojo in the Morning Show, Uh and we were doing the War of the Roses. Oh, man. Have you ever heard our show before? Um, I, I can't say that I have. 
Okay, we do a thing called War of the Roses, and say hello to Christina. Hey. Hi. Now, just out of curiosity, would you have any reason why Christina would want to call us and have us see who you'd send the roses to? Because she wants flowers. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> Um, Steve, Christina called us up because she was a little bit worried that maybe you were having some other girls in your life. Why? Christina said that she's noticed that, um, I don't know. Christina, what have you noticed? I've noticed in the shower the other day that you have these, uh, this rash down there. No, no way. No. That's, I've, I've just been playing a lot of basketball. <laughs> <laughs> well, we... you, you know, when she asked you about it before, obviously that kind of thing is going to bother a, a girlfriend a little bit. Yeah, I mean, I just, I, 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 I didn't think it was, it was a huge deal. Have you gotten it checked out? No, it's nothing. Okay, well, Christina also is kind of wondering why you've been kind of distant with her. Do you feel like you've been distant? No. What about, like, how your sex life? How would you say your sex life has been in the past, like, a week or so? I'd say it's good. good. Christina, how would you describe it? I, you haven't touched me in a week, <laughs> Is there any way that I can talk to Christina by myself? This is kind of embarrassing. Okay. All right, Christina, hang on, okay? Okay. This is the home of... The War of the Roses. I could be over there in like two hours. Oh, I see what the hell this is. You little husker. Mojo. Mojo.